I eat blissies for breakfast. Ah. So here's a battle against uh, Golduck. That's with a zero. And um, yeah, he messed with an MSN, and I actually kind of felt like battling at the time. So here we go. I lead with Swampert. He leads with Weavile. He's going to fake out me. That's not going to do a whole lot to Swampert, because Swampert's like a physical monster beast-esque thing. And yeah, now he's going to taunt me. But I kind of predicted that taunt, so I'm just going to go for the Earthquake, which ends up being a pretty awesome prediction, because the Earthquake is going to do um, quite a significant chunk to Weavile. And um, it's weak enough now I can just go for the Water fall to kill it, and he's just going to go for the Night Slash and annoyingly get the crit, which really kind of sucked, because it ends up doing quite a lot, um, well, about half, um, when it would have only done about a quarter if he didn't get the crit. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. His Weavile goes down, and I'm off to an early lead, which is kind of nice. So he goes out to Empoleon, and I really didn't want to see this thing, and I knew it would sub and do, you know, that gay thing, so I just went for the Earthquake just to break the sub. Um, you know, maybe he'll, you know, I can stall him down to, you know, his the end of his life basically so I he'll get the Pattaya berry or whatever and yeah that'll be that but he just goes for the surf and that's going to do a lot of damage to Swampert and my taunt wore off so I actually kind of wanted to set up Stealth Rocks so that's what I did and um yeah I set up Stealth Rocks and that's kind of cool and he's just gonna finish me off with Surf so he just went for the surf and that's going to kill Swampert so that kind of sucks so anyway I go into Breloom because he didn't get off in agility so I can just go for the Spore now so yeah and Breloom is like a epic counter to anything slow. So I get off the Spore, and then I get my Toxic Orb, so I'm poisoned, which is good because of Poison Heal. And I'm just going to go for the sub. He ends up going into Gengar, um, and Gengar kind of kind of hurts Breloom because um, I don't have Stone Edge on this Breloom, and I really should put Stone Edge on this Breloom for situations like this. But I only have Seed Bomb, so I just take the free Seed Bomb. It's going to do about half to Gengar, just because it's still pretty powerful and Gengar's defenses aren't great. Um, but now I go into um, Scizor expecting another Shadow Ball, but he goes for the sub, which really sucks, because now I know he probably has Hidden Power Fire, but I just, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to break that sub, and he does have the Hidden Power Fire, which really sucks, because my Scizor is going to get completely owned in the face, and that just sucks, that's all I need to say about that, yeah, it's gonna end up killing Scizor, which, I don't know, yeah, sucks, anyway, so I'm gonna go around to Raikou, because Raikou's faster than Gengar, and I'm just gonna go for the Calm Mind, I really should've went for the sub, I really, really should've went for the sub, but I went for the Calm Mind, and he goes into a Flygon, so I have to switch, even though he's probably just going to U-turn, but if he, if he Earthquakes, I have to go into Mence, and he does just U-turn, um, and yeah, so my immense is out, and he U-turns, and he goes out into his Gengar again, and I know he can't probably, because I know he has the Hidden Power Fire, not Ice, so I know he can't kill my Salamence with this Gengar, but the best he can do is really just Shatter Ball and do damage. So I just decide to finish off the Gengar, so that's what I do, and I just Fire Blast, and that's going to finish off the Gengar. So he goes out into Scizor, and I'm just going to Fire Blast again, even though he's going to KO me with Bullet Punch. I really don't have anything to take two bullet punches, really. I mean, I could have went out into Raikou, I suppose, but um, I don't want him to take a Choice Banded Bullet Punch twice. Um, but yeah, I just, he goes out into Registeel, which really sucks. <laughs> because I actually went for the sub this time. And yeah, I'm just going to go for the Calm Mind, hoping this isn't like a special defense Registeel, because sometimes they're EV trained more in special, sometimes they're EV trained more in defense, you know, because they can be kind of like a mixed wall. It's basically what they are. They have 150 base defense and special defense. And I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt and see how much it does. Um, hoping maybe I can get a 3-hit KO out of it, but it actually doesn't look like it, which really sucks. And Seismic Toss is going to be doing more damage than my Thunderbolt after a Calm Mind. <laughs> Stupid Registeel. So I have to switch. I decide to go out into Rhyperior. Um, Rhyperior shouldn't, will take 100 from the Seismic Toss, which doesn't do a whole lot, and I'm just going to hope I can KO this Registeel now with Earthquake. Um, but he goes out into Flygon, which sucks. And I don't know why I didn't see that coming, but I didn't. But I know I can live in Earthquake. But here I make a stupid play. I really should have just went Megahorn, but for some reason I went Stone Edge thinking he might go out into Scizor. But that was just stupid on my end. I thought that was just gay. I don't even know if Megahorn would have killed anyway. Probably not, but still. Anyway, he goes for the Earthquake to finish off my Rhyperior, so my Rhyperior's down. I go back into Breloom, knowing he's locked into Earthquake, so I can get, um, 
yeah, a free sub up. So that's what I do. And now Vreloom has a sub, and he has Scizor, so I'm just going to go Focus Punch. He's probably going to U-turn and just sacrifice something, and that's what he does. He U-turns, and he um, breaks my sub, and he's going to sacrifice, I believe, Registeel, um, just because that's the thing he cares about least on his team. So I get the Focus Punch off on the Registeel. That is a free KO for me, but... Um, and now he's going to go out into something to revenge kill my Breloom. And he's going to end up going out into... Let's wait for it. Uh, Scizor! So he can probably bullet punch my face. Um, so I decided to switch into Raikou. Um, but he U-turns. And that's pretty much going to be the game. Because now he's going to go out into... Actually, yeah, he kills my... Uh, Raikou. And he goes out into Flygon, and my only Pokemon left is Breloom, and he's probably just going to go out in our Outrage to win. Um, just in case, he, for some reason, he doesn't. I went for the sub here, because it was pretty much my only chance. I could have went for the Seed Bomb and killed the Flygon, but there was no point, because he'd just go into Scissor and win. So, uh, good game, Golduck, and rate, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll leave the channel, his channel, in the video description. So, rate, comment, subscribe. Bye! Alright guys, today's question of the day for you today is what is your favorite Final Fantasy game? There's like a billion of them. Um, there's like, what, 12 now, official ones? And, um... Oh, okay, so there's more, like, like I meant like the ones with the numbers. And then there's also like Crystal Chronicles, and Tactics, and Tactics 2, and then Tactics Advance, and a bunch of stupid things. Um, but my favorite is Final Fantasy Tactics, because it's like my second favorite game of all time, and it's so much fun. But leave a comment about your final favorite Final Fantasy game, and see you guys next time. Bye!